Hey guys, uh, this is Beef Chocolate. I'm um, just starting out my my first tutorials and stuff like that. It's like one of my first videos. So what we're gonna start with is just a very basic, very simple UU matter production for those not well acquainted with industrial craft. So the first basic component that you're gonna need is the mass fabricator right here. Uh, the mass fabricator has this interface. This is where UU matter or the base material for a lot of basic materials are made. And this is an input for scrap, which I'll be showing you how to use. Uh, a mass fabricator has no energy input limit. It can accept any voltage of current at any EU per tick. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a high voltage solar array, which is extraordinarily expensive. Um, as you can see, progress right here is it's uh, moving progress, converting energy into matter in the form of UU matter. Um, to help this progress go faster, what you can do is input what is called scrap. And I will show you how to make a simple, simple scrap production uh, apparatus right now. Hey guys, uh, uh, Beef Chocolate again, and um, here we have that scrap apparatus I was talking about earlier. Uh, if you're not well acquainted with uh, Red Power 2, this is a simple uh, compact cobble gen. Um, the lava source here produces four cobble around itself uh, with a water box here. These are block breakers. Uh, I have a timer set pulsing at uh, every 1.5 seconds to because lava updates at 30 uh, ticks when there's 20 in-game ticks per second so after 30 ticks it's it's basically the most efficient way to have your cobble gen. Um, up here is a filter uh, I actually don't need that anymore but up here is a filter and a regulator I just put this on the system because if you have the filter, it will, instead of sending the items, like when the regulator has 64 in its inventory, it'll dump it, but there's a brief moment where it won't be able to accept anymore. At that moment, it sends it back into one of the block breakers and jams it up for a second. So instead of jamming it up into the block breaker, now it's jamming it into the filter, which is just lets the system keep running. Um, at every, I just have it every stack, to uh, release and throw it into this, the recycler, which can, uh, because of my upgrades, take any voltage. And I just have it wired up underneath uh, to cons to make it look nice. <laughs> um, this is just also high voltage. Y you can't get it to run this fast unless you have a set source of power. I'm kind of just cheating it in high, high voltage. So... Obviously, I'm going to have as much power as I need, but um, with 13 overclockers and transformers, it can perfectly fine handle a stack of cobble. Um, what this recycler does is every any item that you put in it, it has a chance to uh, convert it into scrap, like regardless of the mod. See, that's red power stuff. Here's some more red power stuff. It has like a one in, uh, I don't know, I'll look up the statistic later for... Uh, how much it produces but it has a very low chance to produce scrap and when you input scrap into the bottom of a mass fabricator you see you get this little amplifier number I'll just wait for more scrap to come back in there it goes um, you get this amplifier and what this amplifier does is it provides a network for the energy to form to and create UU matter faster or that's the lore of it anyway um, so yeah now that we have we're starting our UU matter production let's uh let's show you what we can use UU for one thing I also forgot to mention is this system is extraordinarily easy to expand upon like if I wanted to add more lava and more block breakers all I have to do is break this and break this and break this and just put a lava source block, surround it with block breakers, and surround that with water source blocks. But in the interest of lag and <laughs> and frame rate, I'm just going to leave it at this. Um, you can also easily expand this network. All you have to do is 
because of the how smart pneumatic uh, tubes are all you have to do is add recyclers here and here and any overflow from this one will immediately just dump into the network um, so as I was saying for UU matter UU matter in uh, industrial craft 2 is basically a building block for any for a lot of the more advanced IC2 uh, creations as well as some basic materials like some recipes you, you matter can create can create wool with three uh, if you put it in the center it can create stone but the very very main reason to even get you matter like the, the the goal the end goal is for this stuff it's what's called iridium this iridium ore is vital in creating what's called quantum uh, the quantum armor the, the armor set that I'm wearing right now this armor each item has a specific ability and like the the boots make you run extraordinarily fast the legs make you jump or I might have switched that on accident but whatever uh, the suit the chest plate which I'm substituting for a lap pack right now the suit is basically as good as diamond armor except it takes damage to the energy when you take damage as opposed to the durability and you end up taking not that much damage um, and the helmet keeps you poison free fed and lets you breathe underwater like for example see my bubbles are going down but at a certain point I will stop taking damage I won't take any drowning damage let's just wait for that for an example see my bubbles are filled um, so yeah, that's the kind of end game for UU Matter. And I'll be right back and show you what to do with the Iridium Ore and how to get these awesome suits. Alright guys, uh, so back to the importance of UU Matter. The, uh, in order to create a quantum suit, what you're going to need to do is have a mass rate and a compressor. The first thing you want to do is mass rate coal. Now, when we macerate coal in IC2, we get coal dust, as shown. I, it just takes a long time, that's why I'm not showing it. But here we have coal dust. Uh, we need four coal dust for one raw carbon fiber. We need two raw carbon, carbon fires for one raw carbon mesh. And when you put a carbon mesh into a compressor, what we get is a carbon plate. Now, carbon plates are the base materials for the nano suit armor, which is the prerequisite for a quantum suit armor. Um, the next part that we need are called advanced alloys. Now, what advanced alloys are, how you make them is you have to first get mixed metal ingots, and then, which is just refined iron ingots, bronze ingots, and then tin ingots. And once you have them, you compress them in a compressor and then you get advanced alloys these are the basic building blocks for a quantum suit armor alright so the next part that we need in for our steps to uh, the quantum suit we have the nano suit armor these armors are just they're similar to these armors except they don't have the special effects that the quantum suit like you can't run fast in nano um, they are as strong as diamond and they do take they take damage to the durability as an energy see there's empty ones and then this is a fully recharged one so craft the boots it's like crafting normal armor except you're gonna need some of these energy crystals and what an energy crystal is is a diamond just wrapped in redstone um, what energy crystals do normally when you you can charge them up like a battery and what these energy crystals do is they can store a hundred thousand EU so if we see here the high voltage solar array it starts to charge up and starts to charge up the crystal and there's a nice little particle effect that when uh, it gets to well not a particle effect but a uh, graphic effect when it's fully charged it turns to a nice bright crystal so you need for total you need 
fours, ten, seven, seventeen, twenty one carbon plates, which is a lot of coal. It begins to add up once you uh, start <laughs> making a lot of carbon plates. So you need twenty seven carbon plates and energy crystals. Uh, yeah, so now I'm going to get to the next part, which is iridium plates. Alrighty there, guys. Um, in order to craft iridium plates, which are the base materials, and which I'll, I'll just show you real quick. In every single piece of quantum suit, there is uh, you need iridium plates. There's you need a total of ten iridium plates, which I'll show you the recipe here. You need ten iridium plates, which is ten, which is forty iridium ore, which is seven UU matter. So you're gonna need two hundred eighty UU matter in order to in order to craft this suit. It's kind of a lot, but if you just leave this running in the background passively, you'll eventually have a lot of UU matter, and you can just do it when you have enough. Um, so you craft it like so. Iridium in the corner. Advanced alloys in the plus, and then a diamond, iridium plates. Now, these iridium plates are the quintessential part to any piece of the quantum suit armor, and I'll show you how to craft each one now. Alright, so in order to craft a full quantum suit like I have, you'll need two glowstone, one reinforced glass, two machine blocks, a full set of nano suit, three advanced alloys, two sets of rubber boots, four lapatron crystals. So four diamonds plus four diamonds, eight diamonds total. Kind of expensive, but this is supposed to be an end game product anyway, so you're kind of expected to have that many diamonds. And then two more advanced circuits. So in order to craft the chest plate, chest plate on top three alloys, three plates, and a Lapatron crystal. Boom, chest plate. Helmet, helmet here, Lapatron crystal, two iridium plates, or wrap reinforced glass there, iridium plates like this, and then two advanced circuits, and we have a quantum suit helmet. Uh, for the legs, we have iridium plates here, machine blocks, glowstone, leggings and a Lapatron crystal and we have our legs and now for the feet uh, not that <laughs> but then we have this and this and then boom quantum suit boots we have a full set of quantum suit armor now hey guys that'll um, conclude episode one of messing with you you um, I don't really know what to do for this suit. Like, I just, this is like my first Minecraft video ever. So, and I'm using the Tech It mod pack in case you're wondering. I know it's, it's not, it's not the best thing ever, but I'm waiting for the Feed the Beast mod pack to come out. And this is just a way more convenient than me compiling all the mods myself and probably doing it better. So, yeah, um, I'm going to be showing you more applications with, uh, you you uh for every episode so if you like what you saw you're new to industrial craft you want some tutorials um let me know in the comments and uh thanks for watching peace